Hey guys, in this video I'm going to show you how to properly change the oil in your Chevy or GMC with the Vortec 5.3 engine. This is a 2010 Avalanche, but this should be applicable with any modern truck with the 5.3. Let's go! Alright, so here's everything you're going to need to change your oil on the Chevy 5.3. So of course you're going to need the manufacturer's recommended oil, in this case I'm using Synthetic 5W30. You're going to need a set of ramps to lift your truck up. You're going to need an oil catch pan, and you're going to need a wheel chalk. And here, as you can see, it says Avalanche Oil Change Kit. I like to make a kit after I do the oil change each time, so next time I do it, everything I need is right there. So, of course, you're going to need a pair of rubber gloves. You need a funnel for your oil. You're going to need your proper oil filter. I like to use a puppy pad for catching all the uh, splashes of oil that go all over the floor. Oil filter wrench a 15 millimeter socket with a ratchet, and then of course some rags to wipe everything up. All right, the first thing you wanna do is make sure your truck is securely up on ramps. And you wanna make sure your park and brake is pushed down nice and hard. And also put a wheel chalk behind one of the rear wheels just to be safe. Safety first, guys. All right, ladies and gents, the next things you wanna do is locate your oil filter and your drain plug. So I am laying underneath the truck where my foot is is the front of the truck and so right here this little blue guy is your oil filter if you run to the right here you can see underneath this pan here is your drain plug i have the 15 millimeter socket with my ratchet attached to that so go ahead and pop that guy out but you want to have your drain pan and your puppy pad ready to go because it's going to come out and it's going to come out fast and fierce all right, so you just go ahead and pop your drain plug out and it should come out in a nice steady stream like that. I like to have the puppy pad here because as the oil kind of moves around, you wanna make sure you can move your pan to make sure you don't get it uh, any drops all over your garage floor. Okay, after your oil is completely drained, you wanna go ahead and pop your drain plug back on there and then put your uh, socket and ratchet on and just gotta snug it up nice. You don't wanna over torque that drain plug because if that thing strips, you're gonna have problems. All right, the next thing of course is your oil filter. You might be able to get this out by gripping it and ripping it by hand, but if you can't, go ahead and use an oil filter wrench. I got this one at Harbor Freight for like six or seven bucks. Now, as you can see, this thing is pissing out a lot of oil right after I cracked it. So what I like to do is just crack that, let all that drain off, and then go ahead, of course, with your hand with a rubber glove on for protection, you can take it off once the rest of that oil has stopped dripping off. Now, before you put your new oil filter back on, you wanna fill it up with fresh engine oil, and you also wanna oil this rubber gasket on top of the filter before you screw it on. Okay, after you have replaced your oil filter properly, you wanna go ahead and fill the truck back up with oil. These trucks take 5W30, I use synthetic oil from Kirkland, which is a Costco brand, it's a really good oil. Check out Project Farm's video on that, he proves that it's a really good synthetic oil. This is gonna take six quarts, so go ahead and fill that baby up. All right, after you've put in your six quarts of oil, make sure to put your cap back on. That's a very important step, don't forget that. Put the oil cap back on. All right, now you are ready to take your truck off the ramps. Make sure not to close your hood all the way because you're gonna to have to check your oil one more time. Don't forget about that wheel chalk. All right, lastly, you wanna check the oil one more time. So after you've let the truck run for a couple minutes to let everything cycle through, you wanna let it sit for four or five minutes till the oil goes all the way to the bottom of the oil pan. And then just go ahead and check your oil one more time Add a little bit if necessary, just to make sure you have the right amount of oil. Well, that's it guys. I hope that was helpful in telling you and helping you change the oil on your Vortec 5.3. If you liked the video, go ahead and smash that like button. Make sure to share, comment, subscribe, all that good stuff. Thank you guys for watching. Take care.